Hi, this is Mike. I'm back with you for some more Fordham product information and news. As you know, Fordham is more famous and known for its flexible shaft machines. But Fordham also has micromotors. And I'd like to show you some of our different models uh, that we have and some of the different hand pieces that go with them. Our most popular micromotor kit is our K.1070 or 1070 as we call it. It's our high speed Motor, micro motor that has motor brushes um, and requires ventilation. There are uh, a few items in the kit. It comes with a control box, a foot pedal, your handpiece, standard with a 332nd collet, although you can also get it with a 1 inch collet, and a handpiece holder. Let's take a closer look at the control box. You have an on off switch, you have the port where the handpiece plugs into, a dial speed control right here with an off and then a max setting. You have an overload protection uh, um, circuit in there with a switch and a light in case you overload the motor, rarely happens. A hand or a foot selector for your foot pedal versus the dial control and a forward and a reverse selection. On the back, you also have a voltage selector switch for 110 or 220 volt selection uh, that you can uh, um, choose. The foot pedal plugs in here in this port and an optional on off foot pedal can also be plugged in. Foot pedal is pretty standard. Um, variable speed. This is our high speed rotary handpiece that goes with the K.1070 kit. Um, it goes from 1,000 to 38,000 RPM in forward or reverse. To change out burrs, what you'd want to do is you take the middle here by the little wings, you twist it from S for the secure to R for the release. That opens up the collet and you can pull out your burr or accessory. Changing collets is a little different, we'll go over that again later. To secure it, you just put your burr back in and twist it and then lock it. You cannot take out a burr or accessory while it is running or you'll lock up the motor and what will happen is you'll hit your overload light. Simply just turn on and off the motor. Make sure the handpiece is in secure with the burr locked and you can start up again and you'll be all set. Many of our wood carvers and other people like to use larger shank um, accessories and burrs. Um, the handpiece comes with a standard 332nd collet. You can get a 1 8 inch collet with it. A lot of them they just buy it with a 1 8 inch collet and then use a collet adapter to bring down the shank size for a 332nd. To do that you open up and you remove your 1 8 inch shank. This is your collet adapter here. What you do then is slide that over the shank of your 332nd burr. Put that in. Make sure the burr is all the way down seated. And then lock it and you're ready to good to go. Collet adapters come in many different sizes. Um, but they're unique to the size collet that they go into and also to the one that they reduce to, such as 1 8 to 3 32nd, 3 32nd to 1 16th, 1 8 to 3 to 1 16th, and so on. They are actually a very good tool to have and it's a lot quicker and easier than changing collets. Let me show you how to plug in your handpiece into the control box and start it for operation. If you notice there's a dimple up here on the top of the plug set for the handpiece, the cord set. That is goes to the very top and you plug that in right into the port that says handpiece on the front. Make sure that your handpiece and burr is secured in the collet but free spinning so the spindle's not locked and you're ready to go. Bring the dial control down to off. Turn on your unit. Make sure that you're in the proper selection switch. For here, I'm doing the dial control, so I'd be in the hand mode, and I'm ready to go. And that's it. You can adjust your speed. When you want to change direction, what you'd want to do is 
turn it off, make sure that it stops spinning, then select the directions you want. This one here I'm now going into reverse and then start going again. That's it. Now I'm going to show you another one of our kits, our K.1020 or 1020 kit. The nice thing about this is you have the same control box and foot pedal as you did with the 1070. So if you already own one of the other ones, you can just add it by just purchasing the handpiece. The handpiece for the K.1020 kit is a little bit heavier, it's more powerful, and has a speed range of 1,000 to 20,000 RPM. And it has a number zero size three joy chuck, which can take burrs up to 5 30 seconds of an inch in diameter shank. You use a chuck key, just like on our number 30 handpiece with this for tightening and loosening your uh, burrs. It's a great tool for heavier, thicker burrs. Um, for industrial applications, heavy duty wood carving, and whatnot. The 1020 kit, as I said, was a heavy duty one. I've plugged the handpiece in, put a nice typhoon in here, which would be great for doing woodwork because it can take a lot of torque and just, you could bury that typhoon burr into a block of oak. Turn it on, and it just runs. We have one more handpiece that goes with this control box. It's our micromotor hammer handpiece, and this kit is the 1080 kit. As you can see, it does not come with a foot pedal. Um, we also have another kit called the 1090, where you just add this hammer handpiece to our 1070 kit with the foot pedal, and you've got a combined um, rotary and hammer handpiece kit. This is a very nice handpiece, and I'll show you some details about it. You plug it into the box the same place as you plug the other ones. Turn it on. The nice thing about this one is you've got a hard to soft adjustment here on the knurled area. And the other nice thing about this is it's not hammering until you actually press down to engage it. Which is nice because that means you can locate exactly where you want to be on your piece of metal or wood or whatever you want to text here or push and then press down without marring your work until you're right, right where you want to be.